Kids for the 543 and 1340. We're hip-hop and R&B live the day party with your favorite DJ, DJ D. Sewell. Y'all, let's discuss some hip-hop news. Now, we this time for... D. Sewell, what the hell happened and today? a lot of stuff happened today. Y'all, let's talk about all the albums that dropped over the weekend. Since this is our first day being back, y'all, Michigan R&B artist Vito. He dropped a big project. You got Chris Brown and a few other big R&B heavy hitters on that thing. Uh, Sky Zoo dropped a new project. 21 Lil Hurl dropped a new project. 03 Greedo dropped a surprise project. And y'all, recently, he got news that he will be granted parole and out soon. Y'all, I do like 03 Greedo straight up. And y'all, Baby Tron dropped a new project. Ben Reaper 3, New Testament. I am rocking with Baby Tron. He got the Detroit flow, you know what I'm saying? He from Michigan. But Baby Tron be spitting straight up, y'all. I'm telling you, I really like that project. I know, just randomly, I like Baby Tron. Y'all, another news. Everybody unfollowing Gunner. It ain't looking good for Gunner right now. Meek Mill unfollowed Gunner. Polo G unfollowed Gunner. Little Baby unfollowed Gunner. I don't know if Gunner will be able to recover, y'all. It is looking bad for him in this music industry. Y'all, in other news, Iggy Azalea, she's getting ready to promote a new album, and she's going to do it on OnlyFans. She said OnlyFans is the perfect platform to launch her multimedia concept album. She's going to post pics, videos, poetry, illustrations. Iggy Azalea, I don't know how this is going to work out for you. Uh, it was something floating around talking about she made... $300,000 in her first day. Iggy Azalea said she did not make that amount. And uh, also something I think Iggy thinks that we forgot about, Tory Lanez was supposed to executive produce her new project. I guess Tory Lanez ain't gonna do that no more. Y'all, in other news, Kid Carson versus Trippy Red. We talked last week about Trippy Red getting ready to drop a new project called Mansion Music. Y'all, he got a bunch of songs on there and a bunch of features like Everybody is on Mansion Music. Literally, everybody is on Mansion Music. And y'all, Ken Carson tweeted out that hitters will feature Jesus himself and nobody will listen to that effort. That's what he said, y'all. People are thinking that he's talking about Trippy Red. I'm thinking it too, y'all, straight up. Y'all, the DOC documentary is getting ready to drop. If you don't know who the DOC is, he wrote for NWA, he wrote for Dr. Dre, and uh, he lost his voice in 1989 in a car crash. He was a co-founder of Death Row Records and a mentor to Snoop Dogg and Dogg. Uh, the release of that documentary will be spring of this year. And y'all, last but not least, uh, a recent an article came out about Jay-Z's public investments. Let's break it down real quick, y'all. Jay-Z invested one million in the Brooklyn Nets, two million in Uber. Jay-Z can see the future, y'all. 16.5 million in Stellar Robot Pizza, 19 million in Flow Hub, it's a cannabis software company, 33 million in Madison Reed Beauty Brand, 56 million in Tidal, and 200 million in Oatly Plant-Based Milk. If you look at all of those businesses, Jay-Z looks at futuristic stuff. That's what Jay-Z looks at. Stuff that you will need in the future. That's what Jigga Man is investing in. Yeah, that's what the hell happened today. I'll be back tomorrow, 2 p.m. sharp, right on the kids. 105.3, 1340.